All right, part two. Thank you for everyone who is watching this live. And if you're watching the replay, I appreciate you as well. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your donations. Tonight, we are going to be reading the full moon energy for each element. So this time, we're going to go by element. It's not going to be each zodiac sign. I will do each zodiac sign on my Patreon which is in the description box. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for joining. We're just going to go ahead and get started. We have the earth element, which we're going to be focusing on first. So if you have a lot of earth sign energy in your natal chart, or if you are an earth sun sign, then this is going to be your message for this full moon. And I feel like this is going to particularly affect you guys the most because the full moon is in Capricorn for Western astrology. And I believe the full moon is in Sagittarius for Vedic astrology. So whichever one you prefer to get your information from, we're doing Capricorn energy with this full moon, with this particular reading. Earth sign. So this is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Capricorn, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. I'm going to pick one card from the Queen of the Moon deck. This will give us the overall energy that the full moon is bringing in for you. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. What is the strawberry moon bringing in for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo? All right. So you have this card that flipped over. Self-love. Ooh. This one's going to be really interesting for you guys, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, because I feel like a lot of you don't really pay attention to your self-nurturing and your self-love and your self-care because you're more of a get out and do it type of sign. And this full moon is going to have you focusing more on your emotional body and what you need, what your needs, wants, dreams, hopes, what those are, because I feel like lately you've been focusing on everything else besides that, so let's see what else we have for you, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, what messages do we have for this full moon energy? All right, so you, wow, you have two cards. You have the Ten of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. So there's a lot of balance being brought in for you. Um, I'm also getting a repeated number six. So that six house energy, six houses ruled by Virgo, I believe. So this is definitely earth sign energy. But it's also stating there's balance coming into your financial aspect. Uh but you need to make sure that you don't work so hard that you are making it harder for yourself, if that makes sense. Make sure you can balance out your time and your energy, what you're focusing on. Make sure you're balancing out your health. You're paying attention to your body. You're paying attention to your surroundings. You don't have to be as talkative or communicative at this time because I feel like there's just a lot going on within with inside of you and your physical body. But what this Ten of Wands is saying is that there's a need for you to realize when enough is enough of something, whether it's with a person, place, situation, or thing. There's a need for you to realize that enough is enough. And if you're going to put your time, energy, break your neck, break your back for this job or for this other person and not do that for yourself, that's not going to work. So spirit is going to be calling upon you guys, giving you guys downloads, messages for you to realize that you need to create this balance and give yourself more nurturing and love and let your emotions flow. And I think that that's something that earth signs don't typically do. Yeah, I'm noticing you guys have a lot of six energy because you got the six with this self-love card. Number six, you have the six with the six of pentacles, which is your energy. This is Capricorn, Source Virgo. And then you have the six at the bottom of this deck with the lover. So there could be something going on between you and your significant other. 
that plays a part here with this full moon energy as well. Let me get one more card for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. What is this? Oh, here we go. You have yes. Oh, wow. It just says yes. <laughs> yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. So if there's something that you've been thinking of doing, something you've been thinking of quitting, something you've been thinking of leaving, and you are wondering what it is you need to do or if you should do it, you got a yes. Clarify this yes for Capricorn Taurus Virgo. We're going to get you one more card just so y'all have some clarity. Clarify this yes card for Capricorn Taurus and Virgo. You have the King of Pentacles. That's your energy. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So if there's any money moves that's coming up within the next six days or six weeks, I'm going to say, because we are in the sixth energy with the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Self-Love. If there's like some type of new financial uh, situation and whoever or opportunity that's coming about and you should say yes, you should take action. You should go ahead and make you some more money, make you some more pinnacles, because I do see that coming along for you, Earth sign. All right, let's move on to the air signs. Okay, air signs. So this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. And once again, we're just doing things by element on this live today. If you would like a more detailed message, Please message me or go to my website for a private reading. Or if you need a cheaper way, I did create a Patreon in which I just do readings on. That Patreon is going to be readings for the significant planetary alignment, such as retrogrades, full moons, new moons, um, and energetic shifts. And that's only $7.77 a month. So Spirit really guided me to put out something that's more affordable because some, you know, my readings are the price that they should be. That's all I'm going to say. But just in case you cannot take or handle that extra expense at this time, do the $7.77. 77 <laughs> Do the $7.77 a month. I mean, that's not bad. And you'll get a lot of good information in there. I also have my other classes, one for metaphysical learning, and the other one is for spiritual healing. Air element, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What's going on with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini? What is this full moon energy bringing in for you all? I keep hearing swift changes, swift changes. So let's see. Let's get you a card from the moon deck first. Because we're working with this full moon energy, the strawberry moon or pink moon. There's many different names for this particular moon that we have. What messages do we have for the air signs? Capricorn, oh, Capricorn, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Spirit. What messages do we have? Cap uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you have release. You have release. I feel like you guys have been either secluded or you've been trapped in your head. Some of you may feel trapped in your situation. I'm hearing some of you guys are going to move within the next seven weeks. There could be an air sign here that's moving within the next seven weeks, but you don't quite know where you're going. I do see that playing out for you, but I also want you guys to do something that allows you to release energy. So by that, I mean either get you crystals that absorb energy, that transmute energy, or go do a clearing, cleansing, releasing meditation. Even if it's just a five-minute one, find a way to release some of the stagnant energy that's within you so that you can continue to flow and go about manifesting and creating your desires. You got the Queen of Swords. That's your energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I mean, why are you saying it? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini is the sword's energy. So you have the queen of swords at that. So what this is saying is at this time while you're releasing certain things, you may not be as emotional. The way that your emotions are playing out may confuse other people. People don't understand the way that you express yourself. It feels. They don't have to understand. It's not meant for them to understand. But you may have to withdraw. Maybe this Queen of Swords is also saying that you need to set some boundaries with someone as far as if they deserve a spot in your life anymore. You could be releasing a person. 
with this releasing energy. Let's get one more card for Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, air signs with this full moon energy, please and thank you. There you go. You have simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activity. So that's interesting. You guys are kind of getting the same type of message. Eliminating clutter, releasing, setting boundaries. That's what you need to do. Spirit is saying there's some things in your house that you need to just get rid of. Throw stuff away. You got too much going on, whether it's clutter in the mind, clutter in the house, clutter in the body. Some of you guys may need to, to detox, but there's a need for you to eliminate certain things from your life, from your home, so that you can receive this balance. That seems to be like the general message here, balance, because the last, the earth signs got the six of pentacles, which was balance. And you guys have the simple release and simplify your life. Get rid of the things that no longer serve you. Let people go. People who are no longer serving your highest interest. People who smile in your face. Whole time they want to take your place. Okay. It might be some of those. Let them go. All right. Who's next? We have. The water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What messages do we have for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio? Full moon energy. Thank you guys so much for your donations. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What messages do we have? Mm, y'all gonna be feeling it, especially if you're Pisces, because you've got Jupiter that just went retrograde into Pisces, or in the sign of Pisces, and I believe when it's done with that retrograde, and I want to say, is that, is that October or November? One of those. It'll be done in October or November. There's a lot of retrogrades right now, but while that is in your sign, it's going to be so full of tops and curvies. Jupiter is really going to be showing you what in your life is an illusion, what's not real, what's not working, what wasn't built on a stable, solid foundation with Jupiter and Pisces. All right, here we go. What do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, water signs? Knight of Pentacles and the moon. So y'all got your own energy too, because the moon card literally is Cancer and Pisces. So you had ended today's the full moon. So you got the moon card on the day of the full moon. Yeah, there's a lot, uh, I feel like, of activity going on as far as your feelings, emotions, or intuition. Because we get a lot of this water energy. So there's a lot going on inside of you. But there's also a need for you to take action. You can't, okay, so this is what they're showing me. When you go into a dream state, right, you might you might have a dream or a vision or just some intuitive nudge, right, with this moon card energy. And this nudge, this thing that you see or you get in your dream is going to give you information that you need to take some sort of action with this Knight of Pentacles. And trust that you're being guided the correct way. Maybe even set your intention tonight before you go to sleep with this full moon. Set your intention to dream of a solution or to accept some sort of guidance that you may need at this time. Call upon your angels, ancestors, guides, God, whatever it is that you believe in. Call upon that divine spirit to help guide you at this time and provide you the information that you may need. What other card do we have for Cancer Scorpio Pisces? Ooh, that one hit me in my face. Make a decision. Yeah, okay. It says feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition and make a decision. That's what I just said. <laughs> I just told y'all, like, whatever this message you get with your intuition or your dreams, confirm that. Know that that's giving you what the insight you need to take action with that Knight of Pentacles. Make a decision. Don't get stuck. Don't be indecisive. Don't be complacent. Make a decision and keep it moving. Go off what you feel intuitively. You know what's right for you. So trust that. All right, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Next we have 
fire. Mm. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, I just blew the candle out with the cards. That's crazy because the candle, the flame went out right when I started doing the fire signs. So fire signs, what's going on with y'all? Somebody, somebody, it could be air signs. Somebody is about to blow out your flame or you might be feeling burnt out or you may be just not feeling like you have the energy in which you normally do. Spirit is saying that you're going to need a little bit more supplements inside of your body. Get you some magnesium. Get you some zinc. Get you some ashwagandha. Get you some sea moss. Get you some green tea. Get you something. Ginkgo biloba. biloba, Ginkgo biloba. Get you something that is going to help you with an energetic boost. Because I feel like with that flame going out, right when I was doing fire signs, that something's going on with you guys and you're not feeling like you have the energy, the desire, the wants, or the need to do things. Feeling a little bit stagnant here, fire signs. What's going on with Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius? You have the nine of swords. So literally, you feel like you can't really do very much. You see in this picture, the nine of swords, these hands are binding. You feel like you can't, and you might literally feel like you can't, like there may be something going on with your physical body. You, Some of you guys need to get some acupuncture or a massage or doing some yoga. You need to get the energy in your body moving. There's stagnant energy in your body. Detox, you have to get energy moving. Do some chakra work, chakra alignment. Um, I do chakra healing sessions as well. There's there's plenty of videos on YouTube. You need to find a way to get the energy flowing again. You need to work on your inside, work on your chakras. What's going on with the fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What messages do we have? You have friendship. It says make a day for play. Day with one or more friends. So you need to also get out and find something to enjoy because your situation may feel trapped. You may feel stuck. You may feel like you are not motivated. And it's because you need to, you all work right now and no play. That's what I'm hearing. Like it feels like you're all work and no play. Like you always have so many responsibilities and things to do and you're tired but you want to do something that's joyful. Not that you guys don't really like what you're doing. I just feel as though you need time to express yourself and get creative and, and kind of be in that childlike energy where you can go out and play and feel and do and laugh and smile and have joy. Bring more joy into your life. Ashwagandha is also a mood booster too. What moon card do we have for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have resilience. Ooh, wee. Resilience. So it's like, you know, uh, this is kind of interesting. Look at this um, nine of swords. You see how they're binded by this rope here? And then you look at this one, and this woman is binded. There's a rope connected to her and this rock. What are y'all carrying? You're carrying too much. You want to build up resilience. You already have built up resilience because you've been through a lot of different things prior times, but you have to make this decision to let something go. Let it go. You be carrying whatever this is for too long. Let me get a clarifying for this resilience card for the fire signs. Clarify resilience for the fire signs, please and thank you. Clarify resilience for the fire signs. You have two cards, the strength card and the death card. Yeah, you got to let it go. Whatever this is, that's literally, it feels like it's being pulled out of your life. It feels like something is just ending, something is transforming, something is changing. And it's going to require you to have resilience and strength, especially because this is Leo energy and we're coming into Leo season. Because there's so many changes that are coming about, you're going to have to learn how to pull yourself together. You're going to have to learn some type of method that allows you to bring yourself back to your physical body. If that makes sense. So let's say if you're having a stressful day and you're tired and you're drained, 
What mantra, what song can you play to help uplift that energy and that mood, along with taking some of the vitamins and supplements that I mentioned? Like When, When by J-Rock. Play that song. Play a song that gets you hyped, that allows you to move, dance, sing, scream, whatever you got to do to allow yourself to make it through the, well, I'm not going to say troublesome, because whatever this is, is happening for a reason. You got the world card at the bottom of the deck and death and strength. There's too many major arcanas here for there not to be something going on with the fire signs. And I felt that because y'all flame went out. That was the first thing that happened. Y'all little flame went out. And ever since then, it's just been feeling like y'all stuck between a rock and a hard place. So I feel like this full moon is going to be really intense for you. I think you will prevail through this situation, but you have to come to the conclusion that something in your life is ending, transforming, for a new beginning to come in, and it's going to require you to have resilience and extra strength, literally extra strength and energy. That's why I told you, get y'all some ashwagandha, some sea moss, some, some oolong tea. You need it. You're going to need it. So that was all of the elements. Thank you guys so much for joining. If you want some more in-depth messages for each zodiac sign, please join my Patreon. And that one is five, uh, no, it's 777. Yeah, that one's 777 a month just for the extra messages um, when it comes to the planetary alignments, such as the full moon, new moon, retrogrades, and just bigger shifts in general. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and share. And if you're on Facebook, hit that subscribe. If you're on Facebook, if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Have an amazing night. Happy full moon.